Today's video is intended for a mature audience. For those of you who are easily offended or have children in the room, you may want to click off and leave this video now. Yeah, not doing it. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And this is Life Redesigned. Now today's video, as the beginning has said, well we had a little bit of a warning and a little disclaimer because we're going to talk about something that, well, maybe we shouldn't be talking about, but that seems to be the trend of our channel lately. Uh, for, for those of you who have been around the channel for a long period of time, you know that Carrie and I like to keep a low profile, and well, we've actually made videos about this, that we're loners. We kind of like just to stay to ourselves and just enjoy the company of one another. That being said, uh, there have been times where being on YouTube has been, well, uh, it goes against that because, well, people spot us and they recognize us. They like to come up and say hello and they'll say, hey, thank you for that video. Um, we've also had and made friends that come by and just knock on the door like Pete and Jen down in Florida. Uh, we met them in Georgia. Yep. It's, well, they knocked on the door and wanted to know a little more about Starlink. And uh, that sparked a good friendship. Well, today we got kind of a different kind of knock and we're going to talk about that now. Now, when we started this lifestyle, uh, Carrie and I are what they call sheltered people. We had heard rumors of things such as, uh, well, pineapples being upside down. And what was the other Flamingos. one? Flamingos. Flamingos. I and, still don't know what that means. And uh, we were kind of, you know, clued in a little bit that there are certain types of behavior that goes on in some of these RV parks. We had never really experienced that, or so we thought. <laughs> Uh, well, so I guess we'll just start by telling the story. Um, Carrie and I do walk about five or six miles a day, and it's not all at once. It's on lunch breaks and whenever we have the moment. <laughs> we walk so much that people will actually, uh, they start to see you out every day, and they'll even time you. and they'll... It's no joke. <laughs> they stop in their truck, and he said to us, we were three minutes longer than usual. Yeah, and, and you know, it's all in fun. And we yeah. always laugh that if we fall down and die on the, the little walk that we do, mm -hmm. um, you know, at least someone's going to know that, hey, they were due back in 15 minutes. Now, at the same time, um, we still have occasional knocks on the door that aren't YouTube related because we don't keep any signage on mm -hmm. our uh, rig at all. And we also, uh, we don't really advertise who we are. We're kind of low key. But you get that knock on the door, and, well, that's what happens. So the lock, knock on the door, long story short here, <laughs> I think it might have been too late. So we get this knock on the door. We're not going to say which RV park this was at, but we're just going to say this happened. You get a knock on the door, and someone wants to invite us for drinks. Now, Carrie and I aren't very big drinkers, and we always don't like to be rude, and sometimes I come up with the reasons to why I can't. Um, most of the time it's because legitimately I'm working. But we said, hey, yeah, maybe I'll stop by after and uh, we'll, we'll knock on the door and we'll say hello. And you get the, don't forget to bring your wife. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I'll see if she can make it. No, no, no. Make sure you bring your wife. Hey, don't think nothing of it. It's just a weird way to end a conversation. <laughs> yeah. um, but we did notice something a little interesting that we thought... This guy likes to be extra clean because he has what we call, uh, back in New Hampshire, we call them scrubbies <laughs> um, for taking a shower, but apparently they're called loofahs. Uh, um, and he had a couple of them hanging off the golf cart. Yeah. Now, while we thought it was weird, uh, we said maybe we should let him know that his scrubby is there if he's going to go get clean. So about this time, that's when our kids had called. They like to check in on us from time to time. And we had mentioned this conversation that, hey, we're going we're gonna to run because we got to go meet this guy. And, and jokingly, we made the comment of, we have to let him know he left his scrubbies on the back of his golf cart. And that's when our kids said, um, you guys don't get out much. You might want to look up loofahs and the colors and what they mean. Well, that's exactly what we did. Some of us should never be allowed to use Google again. No. 
So what I'm going to read to you today, and this is the first time you're hearing this, is from the New York Post, and this is a legitimate color chart of what loofahs mean in oh the swinging gosh. lifestyle, because that's what this is about. Carrie doesn't really know what this video is about. She has kind of a clue, but not quite. She just knew something was up, and it was time to go sit on the tailgate and have a conversation. So anyway. according to the New York Post, these loofahs, in the swinging community, forget upside down pineapples, that's not a thing anymore. Okay. This is the color coded system. Oh boy. All right. And now the first one is white. Okay. And that is for novice and beginners. So if you're new to the swinging lifestyle, you put a white loofah up or scrubby, whatever you want to call it, and you go get your fun on. Oh, wow. Now, purple. <laughs> <laughs> so purple is for a voyeur and people who like to watch yeah no so if, you, if you like to watch other people swing you put a purple loofah up there and that's that's your thing all right whatever all right some of these i don't understand so you have to bear with me um pink and i believe this is the color you have when you use scrubbies um this is in a, the shower <laughs> a soft swap people who like to do it with others in the room oh come on <laughs> so, you can't make this. It's not up. my favorite color anymore. <laughs> oh, again, if you're a swinger, we don't mean to offend you. This is just something that's totally different than anything that we've ever, ever been around. It's yeah. just funny to us. Okay. Uh, we're we're really what you do. The privacy of your own thing is is for you, and it's but, this is just all in fun. But keep it there. But we also <laughs> like to be informed, um, and we're sharing with you guys. All right, blue. Okay. Is the I hope that's not what I think it is. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> is the lowest level of full swap those who can play well with others and i'm not sure what that what does means that mean? what does but that mean if you know of any things that we don't know leave them in the comments below you don't have to tell us how you know just what i am are. a very naive person <laughs> i believe everybody is and everything is good until it's not so <laughs> until she is... found out about urban dictionary and now she doesn't trust anybody oh my god no <laughs> all right yellow yeah. is a mid-level swap for mid those level? those who want to have fun but are still nervous. Now, I well, would think... Well, how fun is that? I would think if you're into swinging, you probably wouldn't be nervous, but maybe you would. I would think it takes a certain amount of confidence to be no a swinger. No doubt. But, all right. Uh, all right, a black scrubby, which I've never actually seen one of these, or black loofah. Um, that would actually be cool because as a guy, I don't always like the orange <laughs> and pink ones. Black is a full swap. Those who say what the hell, let it all go down. And I... Mm. All go down. That could take <laughs> that on a whole <laughs> new level of loofah that, color. <laughs> that's a whole different thing. And teal is, uh, well, teal is bisexual for those who want to increase their dating chances. So... Good now, on you. So now, according to the New York Post article, yeah. that uh, certain parts, and this is more more so prevalent in Florida, oh my um, Lord. you will no doubt see loofahs attached to cars. Uh, this is a friendly guide, so you don't want to make any mistakes. And apparently, uh, this is something that's big in the villages in Florida, yeah. uh, which we've actually <laughs> been to. Uh, nobody hit on us. But it was we didn't get out kind of interesting we just drove but, but these are the little things about rv life that sometimes maybe uh you don't talk about or sometimes maybe you think i that, am never using a scrubby again maybe things that shouldn't be spoken about but if you have ever experienced any of this stuff or if there's other symbols that we don't know uh, because I know the pink flamingo thing can take on different things it's not always swinging it's sometimes people who just really are into cool decor because okay. uh, we've had pink flamingos at our home uh, back when we had the house in New Hampshire we had pink flamingos because well, we thought they were funny mean, so like the flamingos on a non-sexual manner <laughs> that they flood people's front yards with them isn't that like a I thought that was like, like a, a cancer, cancer thing, thing or something yeah. so that's okay and then pineapples um, well upside right or is, is oh gee he lives in a pineapple under the sea no, mm -hmm. but if there's something we're missing let us know because we're, we're not intrigued by the lifestyle. It's not our thing. No. But we are intrigued that we don't make any mistakes because we've seen this as firsthand. Now, the loofah thing isn't new to us. To the more that Carrie and I have spoken about this after, after finding out what it meant, 
we have seen this in Florida on a couple of occasions. One mm -hmm. Encore Park, which I'm not going to say which one, mm -hmm. and we also saw it in a high-end resort that we stayed at in the Panhandle of Florida. Mm -hmm. And we always joked around because we thought we were parked right next to the bathhouse. And this guy who we'll call Steve was very friendly. Mm -hmm. But we always was wondering, how was he taking such long showers when he never took his scrubby in with him? <laughs> and now we have a whole new thing. And then there's, and there was multiple colors. That, that was the thing too, is that there's a mix and match so that you can send different signals if you need to. Oh, yeah, this is real. Yeah, I'm all set. Again, if there's anything that we <laughs> miss, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Uh, again, not a normal kind of video, but no. just something we thought was a little bit of fun, kind of as everybody's shopping for the holidays and getting ready to stuff themselves full of turkey and stuffing. This is something else to stuff your brain with some knowledge that you probably didn't need to have. <laughs> We hope wherever you are that you're doing well. And if not, we hope you get a chance to redesign your life. Until next time, I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And I'll be fresh and clean. And we'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.